SQL Server Analysis Services, otherwise known as SSAS, is Microsoft technology used to develop OLAP, or Online Analytical Processing, solutions. Customers use SSAS to build high-level aggregated reports and dashboards in seconds, to generate reports with drag-and-drop capability, and to centralize items such as key performance indicators. When paired with CData ADO.NET providers, users can build OLAP cubes for data from hundreds of SAS, big data, and NoSQL sources. In this video, we walk through creating OLAP cubes from a Snowflake data warehouse and creating pivot tables on top of the cubes in Excel. If you wish to follow along, you need SSAS, the CData ADO.NET provider for Snowflake, a Snowflake account, and Microsoft Excel. Once you install the CData ADO.NET provider, open or create a new Analysis Services multi-dimensional and data mining project in Visual Studio. Right-click Data Sources in the Solution Explorer and click New Data Source. Click Next and click Create a Data Source based on an existing or new connection. Click to create a new connection and in the Provider dropdown, select the CData ADO.NET provider for Snowflake. Fill in the account, user, password, URL, warehouse, database, and schema properties. You can click Test Connection to ensure you have configured the connection properly. Click OK. With the new connection created, click Next in the Data Source wizard. Choose to Inherit Impersonation and click Next. Name the data source and click Finish. Next, right-click Data Source Views and click New Data Source View. Select the data source and click Next. Choose your foreign key pattern and click Next. Choose which tables to import and click Next. Name the data source view and click Finish. Double-click the data source view to configure or add relationships between the tables, adding foreign and primary keys as needed. Right-click Cubes and click Add New Cube. Select the Measure Group Table or Tables and click Next. Select the fields to use as measures and click Next. Select the new dimensions to be created and click Next. Name the cube and click Finish. Double-click each dimension to configure attributes and hierarchy. You can right-click columns in the New Data Source View panel to create attributes. Save the project and click Process. Deploy the cubes as needed and close the deployment wizard. At this point, we have deployed our Snowflake data as OLAP cubes in SSAS. Next, we'll open Excel, connect to the SSAS cube, and create a pivot table based on our cube. At this point, you have OLAP cubes built on top of live Snowflake data, usable in any tool, platform, or framework capable of consuming SSAS OLAP cubes for visualization, reporting, and analysis. For more information, to download a free trial and see the CData difference for yourself, visit cdata.com slash solutions slash SSAS.